now this was question number 15 this is going to be question number 16 so a pentagon is formed by placing an isosceles triangle on a rectangle the pentagon has a fixed perimeter p find the lens of the side of the pentagon that maximize the area of the pentagon so we have the figure like i'll just draw a rectangle then i'll draw a yep wow perfect now um lagrand let's see the solution given by junior tutor so we have Lagrange multiplied are used to find the maximum minimum values of function f of x y z it is defined as gradient of so here my this side is equal to this side and uh, this is y this is h this line is h and this angle is theta um Okay, so um, let's see the solution. So we, um, I'll use the red pen. So we have a function of x, y, t is lambda times gradient of another function now uh, for this um, where lambda is Lagrangian multiplier and uh, this uh, sign denotes the gradient of the function or partial derivative and this is now let's see the dimensions of the pentagon as x y and z so let's say this dimension is z and uh, perimeter of pentagon is fixed which is given as uh, this should be x so perimeter is going to be um it is going to be this x and uh, this line is not there in the pentagon it is a dotted line yep So perimeter will be going to be x plus this y and this y to y plus this z and as this is an isolus triangle so this will be z 
and this is fixed now my area is going to be area of rectangle plus area of triangle and uh, area of rectangle is going to be length into breadth x into y plus area of triangle is half base is my x half base into height so height is going to be height we can calculate from pythagoras theorem so this is basically x over 2 so x over 2 whole square plus h square equal to z square h will be under root of z square minus x by 2 whole square so this is going to be z square minus x over 2 whole square and now we have uh, so okay mm, okay so we'll just simplify this further x into y plus half of x I'll just take uh, the LCM and this will be 2 square so this will become 4 and this will be 4 z square over 4 minus x square and this 4 can come out of the square root x times y plus so this will become 1 over 4 x times under root of 4 z square minus x square um so let's say this function as f of x y z let's say this is g of x y z and this as f of x y z then for gradient we'll just uh, differentiate this uh, partially so we'll get for y plus 2z square minus x square over 2 times square root of 4z square minus x square and uh, derivative with respect to y will be only this and with respect to z this sum will not be there and this will be constant so it will be x z over 4 z square minus x square gradient of g of x y z what was g of x y z i'll just take this from here the derivative with respect to x will be 1 y 2 and this will be 2 now we'll go back and we'll use this lagrangian property and we'll keep the value of uh, f uh, gradients in this equation so i will keep uh, this equation was 
5 plus 2z square minus x square over 2 times under root of 4z square minus x square x and uh, xz over square root of 4z square minus x square which is lambda times 1 2 2 now uh, this will be y equal to uh, no 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 not y so in this case we'll just distribute these terms so first term will be equal to first term of this second term will be second term of this third term will be third term of this so we have y plus 2 v square minus x square over 2 times minus x square which is lambda then we have x equal to 2 lambda then we have x z over 4 z square minus x square as 2 lambda okay so basically we are going to solve the system of linear equations and uh, this can be easily solved using a computer but uh, solving this manually is going to take a lot of time so i'll just take the values from here only so here we have x equal to 2 lambda y equal to 3 minus z as 2 root 3 over 3 times lambda now we are going to uh, substitute the values of x y z back into the perimeter equation so that was x plus 2 times of y 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 lambda and this will be plus 2 times of z 2 root 3 over 3 so my perimeter will become 2 minus root 3 over 2 um, not this 4 minus 2 root 3 times lambda So the dimensions uh, lambda is going to be 2 minus root 3 over 2 times p. Now we will substitute this value of lambda back into this these relations to find x, y and z. So x is 2 lambda so x is 2 into 2 minus root 3 this and this will get cancel x equals to 2 minus root 3 into p y was 3 minus root 3 over 3 lambda And lambda is 2 minus root 3 over 2. And uh, this will be okay. So this will be basically 2, 3, 2 is a 6. And uh, 
I'll just take the solution from here. Three minus root three over six times perimeter, and then we have z as two root three over three times lambda is. Uh, 2 minus root 3 and this will become 2 root 3 minus 3 over 3 times of p <sighs> 2 root 3 3 over 3 so again the solution given here is correct and this was a very lengthy question Good work. <clears throat> this was question number 16.